Uh, the weekend is here and so is the rain. The next few days are going to be really wet. Yeah, it's wet outside right now. We've been showing you an atmospheric river storm is on the way. Let's go outside to San Bruno Mountain where Storm Ranger is set up scanning the Bay Area and gathering information to give us the most comprehensive look at the series of storms moving in. And take a look at the radar provided by Storm Ranger. You can see a lot of green pockets of yellow covering the Bay Area right now. And we are getting some eye-opening data on those big so-called atmospheric river style storms. There's a new study that not only shows that we can expect more of these storms, but it also helps us understand just how much damage they're doing. It's a lot of damage. Here's NBC's Ian Cole. A series of relentless atmospheric rivers ravaged California a year ago. Places like Capitola and Pajaro were hit especially hard. Now, as we prepare for the first potential atmospheric river of this year, new research shows how much damage they can cause when they arrive back to back, like what we saw last year. They contribute up to half of our water every year, but they also tend to deliver a lot of water in very short periods of time, which can be hard to manage. Corinne Bowers just completed her PhD at Stanford studying atmospheric river flooding. She's the lead author of two recent studies published on the storms, including one that's out today. After analyzing 30 years of weather and climate data, Bowers found when atmospheric rivers come in a sequence, meaning nearly back to back, the economic damage doesn't just increase, it compounds. Being in a back to back sequence of atmospheric rivers, more than triples expected losses. There is a three to four times multiplication factor compared to standalone events, which is frankly way higher than we thought it was going to be at the beginning of this project. Last year, NOAA estimates there was $3 billion in damages across the state. And here's the kicker. As climate change increases, scientists predict those back-to-back -back major storms will get stronger and more frequent. And we found in those wet years, we see more and we see longer compound sequences, which means instead of having time to recover between atmospheric rivers, we spend more time close to that threshold of crossing the tipping point into damaging flooding. She adds, moving forward, we need to look closer at what happens in the days and weeks ahead of an atmospheric river to help prepare. And this affects how we should forecast these storms in the future, how dam operators can make decisions about water storage, how we communicate flood risk to the public. We just, we really need to look through a wider lens than we have in the past. In the South Bay, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.